Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and hope you're all having a great time. Today we're back again with some latest space updates. We'll begin with SpaceX job openings and permits for Project Echo. Next we'll talk about SpaceX warnings on 5G plans. Let's get started with new job openings in SpaceX and they're receiving permits for Project Echo in Central Texas. As per recent reports, SpaceX presently has two job openings in Austin and Brownsville, Texas. Sources state that out of those two jobs, the first one calls for a post of Senior Application Software Engineer. SpaceX stated about the Application Software Engineer post that, Our team is currently creating and evolving systems that enable rapid build and reuse of Starship, as well as designing the next generation manufacturing software that will be used in high throughput factories for Starlink. Report says the application software team is the central nervous system of SpaceX. We create mission critical applications that are used throughout SpaceX to accelerate launch vehicle production and flight, as well as systems that allow Starlink to grow into a worldwide, fast, reliable internet service. Some of the requirements for this job are that the applicant must have bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering, math or scientific discipline, along with four-plus years of software development experience or six-plus years of professional experience building software. The second job opening in SpaceX is located in Austin, Texas. Here, SpaceX calls for a post of MEP Facilities Engineer. SpaceX stated about this job that, as a member of the construction projects team, you'll work with engineers across multiple disciplines to design, build and activate infrastructure that will enable SpaceX to achieve its long-term mission. This team is responsible for the delivery of large capital projects to various internal customer groups across the company. This position is based out of the Austin area. Travel may accompany this role, and based on business needs, opportunities to work at other SpaceX facilities may occur in the future. For this job, a bachelor's degree is required in electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, or other engineering discipline along with three-plus years of professional experience with the design or build of MEP building systems. While these job opportunities are available, SpaceX has also freshly received permission to construct their Project Echo in Central Texas. As per reports, on the 6th of June, 2022, the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality gave permission to SpaceX for construction of Project Echo. This permit allowed SpaceX to construct a warehouse on 29 and a half acres of land at 816 FM 1209. The construction site is located in Bastrop County, Central Texas. Sources state that in the same region, Musk's Boring Company and Neuralink are also operational. According to Bastrop County property records, Gapped Bass LLC has earlier purchased almost 170 acres of land in Central Texas. This property was located near another Gapped Bass LLC property of 73 acres, which is nearer to FM 1209. Recent reports stated that earlier this month, they've transferred 46 and a half acres of land along FM 1209 to SpaceX. And reports also state that Project Echo will be completed by the end of Q1 2023. Our next update deals with warnings from SpaceX, which states that the 5G plan would hinder Starlink service to most users from the U.S. DISH Network, a U.S.-based satellite broadcaster, has gained access to frequencies in several spectrum bands for their 5G plans. On the 15th of June, they commercially launched 5G services in more than 100 cities across the United States. Now they're pursuing permission to run high-power mobile service in the 12 GHz band. This 12 GHz band is mostly used by Starlink, OneWeb, and other satellite operators to connect their satellites with user terminals. So, on the 21st of June, SpaceX warned that their Starlink broadband network would become unusable for most Americans if Dish Network's proposal to use the 12 GHz band for terrestrial 5G is approved. 
According to a letter produced by SpaceX to the FCC, they've carried out some tests in Las Vegas to see up to what extent Starlink service gets interfered. And the results are very worrying. As per SpaceX's study, Starlink users will experience harmful interference more than 77% of the time. Moreover, interference from a high-power mobile service in the 12 GHz band would cover more than 13 miles from the macro base station, provided that there were no obstructions. David Goldman, Senior Director of Satellite Policy at SpaceX, stated that Starlink would be subjected to total outage of service 74% of the time. This analysis verifies what should be intuitive that a high-power terrestrial network could blow out anyone using the high-sensitivity equipment satellite consumers must use to receive signals that comply with commission and international power restrictions on satellite downlink transmissions. As a result, vastly fewer Americans could be connected using next-generation satellite services, and those that remain would experience degraded service and regular network outages. RS Access, another company like Dish Network, has licenses in the 12 GHz band, and they too want to upgrade it for a 5G network across the US. According to their analysis, a nationwide 5G network would cause less than 1% interference to terminals used by non-geostationary satellite operators, and they also referred to solutions which will lessen the minimal interference. But Goldman sees this analysis from RS Access as egregious assumptions and untethered from reality. He also stated that the estimations from RS Access fail to focus on aspects such as how satellite operators share their spectrum through coordination arrangements. According to Goldman, RS Access's analysis also assumes that their terrestrial network would only cover dense urban area. This, in turn, hints that satellite operators would remain mostly in rural and remote areas, but if SpaceX has to follow that assumption, then a huge lot of urban customers will remain unserved or underserved users. On the 13th of June, Dish Network Council Pantelis Mikolopoulos wrote to FCC to force SpaceX to deactivate Starlink customers that have installed antennas on moving boats and cars, as the company does not have permission to operate mobility services. In turn, Goldman wrote on the 21st of June that regulatory attacks from Dish Network have delayed new services, such as mobile connection, badly needed by otherwise unserved Americans. SpaceX has pressed the FCC to reject Dish Network's 12 GHz proposal. They also urged the agency to examine whether earlier technical studies submitted to the agency were purposely deceptive or not. According to Meredith Deers, a representative of Dish Network, stated that their expert engineers are evaluating SpaceX's claims in the filing. The 5G for 12 GHz coalition of more than 30 members, including DISH and RS Access, stated that, We understand that SpaceX has, after 18 months and both a robust comment and reply period, just filed its own in-house technical submission to the 12 GHz proceeding. Our engineers and technical experts are reviewing the filing in depth and remain committed to working in good faith with the FCC and stakeholders to ensure that the American public is able to reap the immense benefits of 5G service in this band. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.